Hey y'all, Jen and Adam back from Pepper Hero Farm. We were asked about our top flowers that are the easiest to grow, so we wanted to provide you with a list of what those flowers are today. We get a lot of questions about the flowers that we grow, and this is a great set of flowers for the beginning flower farmer. These are some of the absolute easiest flowers to grow on the farm, and a really great start for a flower farm. Now, these flowers that we're going to intro you to, it isn't just that you go throw the seeds in the ground and let them do their thing. There is still some maintenance you have to do. The typical weeding, watering, and all those things are still part of it. Don't think that you just go throw them in the soil and walk away and let them do their thing is the way to go. No, you still have to maintain them a little bit, but these are, these are flowers that we recommend that are super duper easy to grow and you're gonna have great success with them. The first flower that we're gonna talk about, you're just able to throw it in the soil and let it go. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't do that. Uh, but the first flower we're going to talk about are sunflowers. Now this is the one flower that we direct sow here on the farm and is probably out of this entire list the absolute easiest flower to grow. Yeah, we like the fact that we can direct sow them. We don't start them in trays. We actually just put them right out in the ground. If you want to see how Adam does our sunflowers here on the farm, click the link above. We'll put a link to a sunflower starting video on how Adam gets our sunflowers started here on the farm. And sunflowers are great because they're a quick turnaround also. They sprout really quickly. They really stay ahead of the weeds quickly. Once, you're, once it's weeded out a couple of times, the sunflowers are tall and they will outpace any weeds that are there they're at all. They're so simple. I love them and they're a perfect addition. The perfect vocal for a bouquet especially, we love them. The next flower that we highly recommend and really love because it's so easy to grow is a marigold. And you heard this if you've seen any of our other videos. We talk about how easy marigolds are. The only thing is with marigolds, it's, it's more of a late fall flower. It's not like something that we use for spring. I did try to do a vanilla color this last spring and uh, it turns out, by the way, that Japanese beetles really love that like vanilla colored marigold. But we love the orange marigolds for the fall and specifically the question we get a lot is what type of marigolds we grow. We love to grow Jedi marigolds. So check, check Jedi out. They're a perfect cutting marigold for bouquets. Yeah, most of the marigold seed packets that you find in like your hardware store or something like that in the spring are pretty short growers, so the cutting variety, Jedi, is a really good one to grow. And the short growers are French marigolds. They're really pretty, but they're tiny, <laughs> which could be cute for like a little uh, bud vase or something, sure. but they just don't work for like cutting and, and for doing bouquets. All right, what's next? The next easy flower that we recommend is celosia. And I love celosia because it's like an old fashioned flower. I love it because it, literally it is so easy to seed start that we have them popping up as weeds now. And I'm like, oh yeah, give me all those weeds. <laughs> yeah, you know a flower is easy to grow when the flowers from last year, their seeds drop and they just start growing in the soil before the season yeah, starts. Yeah, by anyway. themselves. I'm like, please let more of that happen. It's really nice, especially sometimes we have a a hole in our landscape fabric where a plant doesn't succeed and a celosia uh, seedling ends up popping up. I'm like, all right. We'll leave it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. So celosia, check that one out and super easy flower to grow. Our next one is zinnias and zinnias, zinnias, you all know what we're talking about here. They're absolutely amazing. The zinnias that we like to grow here at Pepper Harrow are the Benary zinnias. And we really like Benary's because they're giant, colorful heads. They're absolutely gorgeous. We have grown other types of zinnias here on the farm, but Benarius is by far our best cut flower that we grow. Yeah, they produce giant heads, giant sturdy flowers. They're a wonderful cut flower. And we do actually start zinnias in trays, but zinnias are another one that you can very, very easily direct seed. They often outpace the weeds and grow very readily. So they're another one we can recommend. You can just go pop them in the soil. They'll pop right up and start doing their thing. And other than sunflowers, everything else we really sow in trays before we grow out. And that's because we can control the growth and you know we have a lot better success than trying to plant the ground and 
a bunch of weeds pop up with it and trying to decipher which one's the weed and which one's the new new flower you're growing. And we have done that before where we're <laughs> like, let's just see if we can direct sow these. Like the plarum is one that I would say. Yeah. We went and put the seeds in and, uh, oh yeah, they're really slow to, to start from seed and the weeds outpaced and we didn't know which one was the plant and which <laughs> one was, was the weeds. The weeds totally overtook them. Crazy. Yeah. The next easy one that we recommend to grow are Cosmos. Um, I love Cosmos. You've probably seen some of our video of some of our fields of Cosmos <laughs> that we do as wildflower sands, and uh, they're wonderful. They dance in the wind so lovely. Yeah, I like Cosmos for wedding work. They're absolutely gorgeous, but Cosmos are one of the easiest flowers that we start from seed. And again, uh, our big installations, we literally direct seed them. Uh, but once we cultivate, we start in trays. So you can do it either way. Cosmos are super easy to grow. And what's nice about all these flowers that we are talking about today, when they are planted in the ground, they are more or less about 60 days to yeah. bloom from there. We love those. That's what we call the quick turn flowers. They bloom really quick. Bachelor's buttons are also another very easy flower to start from seed. And we basically broadcast out our bachelor's buttons out into the field and let them come up as they wish. Bachelor's buttons are another one that will do big wildflower stands. Yeah. And yes, we love the bachelor's buttons because we'll let them grow out and let them go to seed and the seeds drop and they pop up before anything else, choke out all the weeds. And it is a solid carpet of bachelor's yeah, buttons. Yeah, they self-seed and do their own thing year after year. It's like, whoa, I love this. Yeah. I don't have to do any work. And it's absolutely stunning. My favorite mix of bachelor's buttons is Frosty's mix. I like to get a mix of all the pretty colors, but I especially really love the purple bachelor's buttons. That's by far one of my favorite. And maybe the pink, too. I like the pink. The pinks are really beautiful. It's just you know, Everybody's used to the blue bachelor's buttons, so the pink is really, really unique and they're edible. The next couple are greeneries that we're gonna talk about that are easy to start from seed. And there's a couple that really fit this bill really well. Uh, so the first one we have is dill, and the second one is basil. You love basil. I love basil. <laughs> uh, they are both really, really easy, great starters. I love the dill. A lot of the times we'll just let the dill grow out because the butterflies love it. The butterfly caterpillars love to eat it. And we love supporting our pollinators here on the farm. And that bloom, the, the bloom from letting it go to seed, the bloom with the seeds on it gives it such a unique look. People absolutely love the dill bloom in a, in a bouquet. Mm -hmm. And we do a lot of design classes and people often remark and go after the dill to be able to put in their bouquets. It looks so pretty. But I love the basil too, because it is a very nice bushy greenery. Cinnamon basil is the one that we typically like to grow for our cut flowers. Some people say it can be finicky to cut, but it needs yeah. to be mature, cut early in the morning, yes. and it needs time to rest in your cooler or a cool space. It smells so incredible. But if you do take it to a hot farmer's market, if it's ever put in direct sunlight, it'll start to totally crumple. It does not like intense sunshine. And that seems to be kind of a common theme with cut flowers is they love to have sun to grow, but once you cut them, sun is the death of them. The next easy to grow flower that we like to grow here on the farm is a me. <laughs> it's pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, we love this flower because again, it self seeds. It's literally coming up as our weed now. I love it. I so love it. And I'm like, I see it coming up in spring. I haven't I have not cultivated it. It's now just coming up on its own in our gardens. And I'm like, win! <laughs> it's not supposed to be there. It looks a little bit out of place, but I let it come up if it comes up in any space just by itself. It's really cool. But once it matures, the white head on it is really beautiful. And it's kind of similar to Queen's Anne's, Queen Anne's Lace, but it has a denser, thicker, more appropriately cut yeah. flower head. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Adam likes to use it with sunflowers and blue bachelor's buttons or forget-me-nots. Ami really makes, gives sunflowers an elegant look. So sunflowers look very like field and farm, yeah. but when you mix it with the me, it really like elevates the sunflowers. So like it looks all like fancy and stuff. Yeah, and I use it in wedding work again. It's a really soft, whimsical, romantic looking flower. It looks perfect in a bridal bouquet. The last one that we want to recommend for an easy to grow flower is amaranth. It's Adam's favorite. No, I, I am <laughs> definitely allergic to amaranth. <laughs> so whenever amaranth is growing and we're cultivating it to make flowers, I am not around. 
Yeah, or he like wears like this like big mask, like he's like fending off the gases or something. I'll have to wear like a full respirator and cover my <laughs> eyes. It's terrible. Amaranth and we, we don't get along very well at all. And I have to hear him whining like a baby about how his allergies are acting up and he never like takes Claritin or whatever a week before in advance. Like he is a horrible allergy sufferer. So if you're a horrible allergy sufferer, definitely stay away from the Amaranth. It's, it's real, it's bad. But it's so gorgeous, especially the hot biscuits amaranth that we like to grow here. It looks perfect in spring, summer, fall bouquets, all season long. If I could grow it all year round, I totally would. We hope you all liked our list of easy to grow flowers and inspired you to take notes and maybe try some of these out for yourself. If you all enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that subscribe button and give us a like while you're at it. Thanks for joining today and happy growing.